Welcome back to the show, everybody. You know, companies are constantly looking to improve their bottom line. And our next guest says he has a very unique way of helping C-suite executives do exactly that. His name is Joe Shaheen, and he is the owner and founder of Human Alliance, which helps companies make the best use of their employees. Good morning, Joe, and welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. It's our pleasure. So what is it that you do that other consulting firms don't do? Well, Lori, companies are all about people, and we understand people better than anybody else because we understand the science of influence, and we can quantify it, which is really exciting. How on earth do you quantify influence? Well, we work both internal and external to the organization. So internally, we can uh, conduct focus groups, but mostly we do our work through surveys with consent of the employees to understand the relationships between individuals. Who are the people who are most respected? Who are the people that are more technically oriented? And how does the company benefit from having them on board? Externally, we can look at social media, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and quantify not just the image of the company, but any other thing that we need to quantify to help them perform better. And how does this help a company's bottom line at the end of the day? Well, it's simple. You know, you, for example, make sure that you retain the most influential people in the organization because they control what happens there. Uh, for example, uh, if people are more influential in a technical topic, you want to make sure that they don't leave your company. So if it's got retention issues, it's got development issues, just make sure that you're taking care of your employees so that you can maintain your increase in the bottom line. Do you find that often CEOs really don't know what's happening inside their own company? All the time. It's lonely in the top, remember. And, and, and CEOs really need a better understanding of what's going on in the organization. That's kind of where we come in. If you don't know what's going on, you can't really make great decisions in the long term. What types of companies have you helped? Well, we've worked with uh, different companies. You know, our, our bread and butter has been in Washington, D.C. with the defense and government contractors, but worked with uh, all kinds of organizations to help them with, with these types of issues. And is your technology applicable outside the business world, say, in a political campaign? Of course, of course. I think we should get our candidates running for this election to actually give us a call. Political campaigns absolutely benefit from something like this because it's important to understand who are the people that control your brand as a candidate? Who are the people that influence whether you get voted into office or not? And we can help them with that. Is anyone else doing what you're doing? Well, not exactly. I mean, we're pretty unique. There are other companies that are doing similar things that claim to do proper analysis of social media and things like that. But really, what we do is very unique. Joe Shaheen of Human Alliance, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Welcome back to the show, everybody. You know, unfortunately, employment is still hovering around 8.1%, which means an awful lot of people are out there looking for a job, and competition for these jobs is fierce. Strategy is obviously key for job seekers. Joining us this morning to discuss is Joe Shaheen. He is the founder and owner of Human Alliance. Good morning, Joe. Good morning. So if I am one of the millions of people looking for a job right now, how can I make myself stand out? Well, that is a really important question. Um, you know, first of all, you have to make sure that you are well branded, at least online, and to make sure that employers can reach you. For example, uh, a lot of people don't really utilize social media the way that they should. And make sure that you have a LinkedIn profile because there's a lot of jobs that are being posted on these types of outlets. You can join groups and associations where people from your discipline uh, go to network and make sure that you let people know that you're actively seeking. But it's not just social media, it's um, personal relationships. You know, we all know someone who knows someone who might have a job opening that we might be a great fit for. But sometimes it's a matter of making those connections. So you're saying to do it through traditional means, but also in, through social media? Absolutely, of course. So, you know, Traditional means is just general networking, going to career fairs, things of the sort. So, but social media, I think, is underutilized. Did you know that at least 30% of 
recruiters in the United States actually look at social media to identify candidates and we're not just talking about the job boards, we're talking about Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn. So what are the strategies then that people need to employ to make sure that they are making the best use of LinkedIn or that their Facebook page looks clean, that they're saying the right things on Twitter? First of all, make sure that your profile is clear and readable. You know, no spelling mistakes, the same rules for the resume apply here as well. Make sure that you're listing the relevant qualifications for the jobs that you are looking for. If you're a mechanic, make sure to put the, down that you're a mechanic, not that you have writing skills. Put down your experience specifically. And more importantly, make sure that you're active on those networks. It's one thing to create a profile and to sit back and hope that someone will reach out to you. It's another thing to actively seek people on those networks and let them know that you're looking for something. Should job seekers follow some kind of schedule when applying for jobs? Absolutely. It is The schedule is simple. It is apply often and apply early. Um, most resumes are, you know, you know for, every, for every position that's out there, you get a lot of applications. And you want to make sure that your resume is at the top of the pile, not the bottom. That's one. So you have to make sure that you apply to positions as soon as they become open. And if you're not applying for five jobs every day, at least five jobs every day, then you're not really applying. Applying to jobs is a full-time job. Five? Five jobs a day? Of course, five jobs a day. You know, you have to go through so many interviews and you have to have your resume seen by so many people before you get that one interview. Hmm. Final quick question for you, Joe. It is, as you said, it's a full-time job looking for a job and it can always, often be so discouraging and really disheartening. So how important is it for people to persevere and not throw in the proverbial towel? Persevering is extremely important. In fact, it's the most important part of the equation. You have to keep going. You know, uh, no, no, nothing is served by giving up on your dreams and your hopes. And you have to make sure that you keep applying because one day you are going to have your dream job. I love that. And on that positive note, we've got to say goodbye. Joe Shaheen, thanks very much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. We'll be back in just a minute.